This tribute is about John Hicks, a remarkable pianist and a wonderful man. First up is a clip of John playing with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers from 1964, with Lee Morgan on trumpet, John Gilmore on tenor, John on piano, Victor Sproul's on bass, and the great Art Blakey on drums. was on a Booker Irvin recording called Structurally Sound that came out in 1966. And later that year, I was in New York City one Labor Day weekend uh, on my way to see the Thad Jones Mel Lewis Jazz Orchestra. But on that particular Monday night, a Labor Day, 1966, the band was off. I went cross town to the five spot and heard a band of musicians. I didn't know who they were at that time. Uh, I loved the music. It turns out the band was Jack DeJeanette, uh, John Hicks on piano, Charles Tolliver on trumpet, and Gary Bartz on alto. I, I forget the bass player. But John certainly uh, made an impression on me that night. And our paths really didn't cross musically or otherwise until 10 years later in the uh, late 70s when I used to hang out at a club on the Lower East Side called the Tin Palace down on 2nd Street in Bowery. It was a kind of a clubhouse for musicians in addition to being a great jazz club, a place where uh, musicians love to hang and uh, play music for each other and the audience. And uh, it was a wonderful spirit in that club, something that uh, enhanced all of us who were there. At the time, Stanley Crouch was booking the club. He had only been in New York a few years, uh, starting to write for the Village Voice and booking uh, the Tin Palace. And one of his favorites, and one of ours, was John Hicks. <laughs>
John Hicks was um, one of the essential and vital musicians on, on the New York uh, jazz scene. And um, he had that spiritual thing, if you will, in his playing that uh, lit up a bandstand. exciting player, yet skillful, um, a brilliant accompanist, a brilliant soloist, and um, when, when I think about John Hicks, I, I think about uh, um, a person that just had a great spirit in his playing, and I think uh, that's why he had so many fans and was loved by so many people. You know, that uh, John really could light up a bandstand, you know. John Hicks is one of the great piano players of all time and uh, hits a groove like no other. John, John is just one of these spirits, man, that uh, has so much love and joy and feeling in his music and his beat. Uh, he, he makes a rhythm section just come alive, man. John Hicks piano. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Feel better. So we're okay. straight, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you, baby. Yeah, man. Thank you. And I'll be uh, 
seeing you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry, Will <man>. I? <laughs> Will I? Will I? <laughs> <laughs> Take care, man. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. Be well, man. Feel better. All right. So we'll submit all that stuff. And see <laughs> yes. John was a beautiful human being. Uh, he was such a great contributor to to much of the music that has been played around New York, in particular, in the last thirty, maybe forty years. And just a joy to play with, man. As soon as you, 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 you count the tune off from beat one, man, it's just an amazing feeling throughout playing with John. It's fantastic. I hope that watching these videos and hearing the words of some people who knew John uh, paints an interesting portrait musically and otherwise of this remarkable man and pianist and musician and friend. We miss him very much, but we will never forget him. He will never die. This is Brett Premack. Until next time, Bird Lives.